everyone, welcome back to Pine Hollow Auto Diagnostics. It's after work diagnostics time. We're working on a 2002 Toyota Highlander, four cylinder, four wheel drive, kind of a rare combination, uh, 178,000 miles on it. And the owner, uh, I think yesterday, he drove to a nearby town, you know, over the mountain, and he said that. At first he was coasting, you know, downhill, kind of on an off-ramp, and the car just stalled out. He had to pull over, start up, start up fine, continue to his destination, no problems. And then on the way back, he was on the on-ramp, accelerating, boom, car started shuddering. Again, stalled out, he had to coast to the shoulder, turn it off, start it back up, and then he kind of babied it back into town here, you know, about 30 miles, but it ran okay. So, what the heck? <laughs> it's a Toyota. It's not supposed to have any problems. <clears throat> so, you know, my first thought is, well, if it was that bad to make the car stall out, we have to have some kind of code set. So, let's take a look at the codes. So... Here's our list of codes. These are current codes. Kind of an unusually long list for, for a Toyota, and this car is very well maintained. I've actually worked on it a couple times. It's never had any engine problems per se. The only thing that's notable that a couple months ago, well like three months ago, when I was in for a brake job, I noticed that after a hot soak, when you start up, it just stalled out, like start, stall. You could keep it running with the gas, so I thought maybe it was a sticky idle air control valve. Uh, you know, has an old school throttle cable. It's a 2002, but it only acted up a couple times. The owner said that way back in the day, it did the same thing. They cleaned the idle air control valve. In any case, it let it go. It was fine for months until now, for three months. Uh, and now, look at the code list. P0300, random multiple cylinder misfire detected. P0303 cylinder, three misfire detected. 420 and 430, those were there three months ago. Not worried about those, just catalyst codes. Uh, P1310, igniter circuit fault number three, interesting. And then NT Revolution Sensor Circuit Fault. I have no idea what the heck that code is. P1725. Never seen that on a Toyota, so... Yeah, it'll be interesting. That's why I got the camera out. It's not your traditional, you know, oxygen sensor going bad or something. So definitely cylinder number three is suspect. And then this 1725. Let's look at... While we're here, history and... So same in the history, and then pending codes, 420, 430. Okay, that's fine. Troubleshooter, engine, code tips, 17, ah, we don't have a 1725. Oh well. Let's, uh, let's start it up and just look at data. I don't know if we'll have misfire counters on this thing. I think we should. <clears throat> so you, you wouldn't think that a single cylinder misfire would cause the car to completely stall out and then it would come back on its own but you know maybe one cylinder starts going bad the air fuel ratio gets messed up the sensor starts you know driving it lean or rich and then the, the car just runs really poorly plausible but based on the codes we have we're going after this cylinder 3 coil slash igniter this is coil and plug system I believe we haven't jumped under the hood yet haven't started the car it's cold it's actually been raining for like three days straight I think we got at least three inches of rain <clears throat> let's see here so engine speed Cylinder one, two, three, four. And what else do we want? Coolant temp, ignition advance. List view. So we're at zero. 
Let's fire it up. Starts up fine. Seems to rev up just fine. Now, what we could do is, since this problem is so far very intermittent, it happened like twice over the last couple days, what we could do is just very simply swap coil number three with like number two, erase the codes, let the guy drive it, and if it happens again, the computer will flag you know the appropriate misfire or igniter fault, whatever. And if it moves with the coil, easy. Just a coil problem. If it doesn't, we'll have to go a little further. But sometimes with these really intermittent problems when you don't want to spend all day test driving it, a little swap tronics is uh, just you know just a ticket. Because right now it's running smooth. We could take it for a little test drive just to warm it up a little bit. Um, yeah, we'll see, we'll see where it goes. So I just took it around the block, it runs perfect, it's a little gutless, only a four cylinder for a pretty big SUV, um, engine's warming up fine, no misfires recorded, I mean it looks good. So we're going to dive under the hood, swap uh, coils two and three, and uh, reset the codes. Alright, we got the plastic shroud off, piece of cake. One, two, three, four, and we can see that these two guys don't look original. This one says Toyota on it, and it's clean. This one says Toyota on it, and it's not clean. And our problem, this is number three, so what I want to do is let's just swap three and four. Why not? Should be easy enough. And uh, we'll see if the code moves. Coils are out. Here's a spark plug in number three. No carbon tracking, it's an iridium plug. The uh, gap still looks, I don't know if you guys can see that, still looks quite normal. No problems there. So we'll leave the plug alone and just swap the coils around. All right, we're all done under the hood. It is still raining. <laughs> uh, clear the codes out. Maybe help with the keys on. Retry. Continue, codes only. All right, sweet, no codes. Let's fire it up. Seems to run fine. I mean, there's no real sense in uh, looking at data. Just want to make sure it drives so the owner can take it, drive it around, have it act up, and I suspect that the misfire will follow the coil because, well, it already had two coils replaced at some point in its life. Uh, might as well do the other two, right? Um, I'll bring you guys along for the update, but that should be all that's wrong with this uh, Highlander. All right, thanks all for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Everyone, welcome back. It's uh, repair time for the 2002 Toyota Highlander with the ignition coil malfunction. Straight from Rock Auto, we got some Denso ignition coils. So we're gonna replace the two ones that are still original. 
Uh, I asked the owner to drive it so we can see if it's indeed the coil. He said he could barely pull it in the garage the other day, so I don't know if number four code set. Uh, let's take a quick peek on the scanner. If it loads up. And then we'll uh, swap out the coil. Alrighty, loading up our vehicle. Engine. Codes only. See if it said a misfire code or what. Hey, perfect igniter circuit fault number four. Just what the doctor prescribed. Swap out the coils, clear the codes, take it for a spin. Should be done with this car. So we're just replacing the two original ones, the one that used to be in number three. We moved it to number four for our controlled experiment, which worked beautifully. I just don't want to break these little clips. There we go. Fastest coil change ever. I wish they were all this easy, you know? And they pay like half an hour for one coil. Sweet. And I love putting in good parts. Look at that, made in Japan. Wow. Awesome. I don't know what they used previously to replace these coils. Some kind of no name, no name coil, but. We'll go with the good stuff. And these aren't that much more expensive. Especially if you go online, Rock Auto. Super affordable. Denzo is actually one of our customers. The company I work for, KCF. We do vibration monitoring on industrial machines for plants and uh, Denzo is actually one of our uh, you know customers that we monitor their fans and um, blowers and pumps and whatever so they do have some locations in the US and Canada that make parts but these are made in Japan so I guess we had nothing to do with <laughs> making these coils. Um, that's it. Let's uh, clear the codes, take it for a spin. This car is, I think, is basically fixed. Alrighty, clear codes. <clears throat> Snap on is having a slow morning here. It's Friday. Doing this one before work because these coils take like no time to pop in. So you might as well stop by, take care of it. Got other stuff to do. Did I just check that? All right, no codes, awesome. So, um, yeah, let's just run it. Runs good, as far as I can tell. Data. Just wanna make sure we don't have any misfires in the test drive. Come on, Mr. Snap-on, let's, uh, let's get going here. Two, three, four, one. Alrighty, take it for a spin. Perfect. No misfires. Idles really smoothly. No issues. Just want to make sure it, you know, 
shut it off. Just like a Toyota, nice uh, surge there and back down to a steady idle. All right, that's it. Sometimes it's as simple as that. Uh, the tr you know, the, it's very useful to, if the problem's intermittent, do a little swap tronics if possible, let the customer drive it, work perfect, we got the code to move with the coil, 100% verified, fixed, good deal. All right, see you guys next time, bye-bye.